Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to The Voice of Africa. Today we have a very special guest with us that goes by the name of Mr. Daryl Barnes. He is the representative of the 25th Legislative District in the Maryland House of Delegates and the president of the Bi-County Chamber of Commerce. Hello, Mr. Daryl Barnes, how are you doing? Good, how are you? All right. So why did you get started in this field? Well, I think it's important as a black man to understand the power of ownership and owning your own business. Uh, the flexibility that it has to be able to spend more time with your family, uh, the opportunity to have greater input in your work. Uh, so it was a no brainer for me to say that I wanted to be a entrepreneur and own my own business and be in a position uh, to help my fellow man. Uh, I think uh, when you start talking about equity and inclusion, uh, I think it's important that uh, we as Black Americans, Africans uh, from the African diaspora, that we look at ownership and really start talking about how do we leave uh, uh, that financial legacy for our young people. Right. So, you know, what has been your most foremost goal for the position that you occupy right now and how are you nearly achieving that? Well, as the chairman of the Maryland Legislative Black Caucus here in Maryland, uh, my goal is to promote and look out for small businesses and put them in a position to succeed, uh, whether that's uh, procurement opportunities, access to capital, uh, partnerships, uh, working more collaboratively uh, with other businesses and putting them in position to succeed. Uh, I would say that's my number one objective. Okay. And are there any support systems to aid, you know, African businesses and initiatives like LGS for Africans living in Maryland? I think there are all kinds of support. I think the problem is, is the lack of education uh, and knowing where those resources are. And I'm hoping that this summit exposes some of those things, uh, which then puts in perspective uh, where those opportunities are, how one goes about receiving them, uh, points of contact, I think that's what this is all about, is figuring out how do we bridge the gap and start having more of a conversation and dialogue on how do we work together. Okay. So what advice do you have for Africans to you know, thrive in Maryland and find those resources apart from tuning into programs like LGS? Uh, I think it's important that you know, we, we look at organizations like mine, the Bi-County Business Roundtable, and figure out how do we utilize synergy and bring commonality together. And I think once you do that and start that from a networking standpoint, you'll find that there are a lot of similarities in this world of business. And how do we start working more collaboratively together uh, for the common goal and the common good? Listen, at the end of the day, being a business owner, uh, it's about taking care of your family, taking a decent vacation every now and then, uh, and to be able to give back to our communities. And I think that we all had that same ideology. The methodology may be a little bit different, but the approach is the same, right? We want to grow and expand and help our mankind. And I think this is, that's what this is all about. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. And can you please tell us your thoughts about the Legacy Global Summit? Uh, what I've seen so far, I'm enjoying. Uh, whenever you have six continents and leaders from around the world, uh, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, that we are all coming together to uh, promote the common good of mankind and saying that we can work together. Uh, sometimes we just have to figure out how, uh, but we can work together. And I think we all are here to uh, do our part. We're all here to mentor and coach other people. We're here to uplift one another. So if that's the mindset and the mission and the objective of what we have, uh, then it's just a matter of uh, uh, accomplishing that goal. Right. Well, that's all. We can wrap it up for now. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Darrow, for coming on our platform and voicing your opinion and thoughts as well. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. All right.